Hi Gemini, welcome to your November reading. This is for Gemini, Summer Rising Venus. You can check out your other placements for additional messages. This is a general reading, so of course messages may or may not apply. Just take a resonance, leave it there for the next person. We're going to be taking a look to see what messages may come through for you guys for the month of November. See what you guys should be currently dealing with, as well as what you can expect. Get some insight with some guidance, and overall see what's going on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November 2021. I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram. Instagram at Jade Stone Tarot, and let's get right into this reading for Gemini, Summer Rising Venus for November 2021. Any messages for Gemini, Summer Rising Venus in November? What's going on for Gemini, please? Show me clearly what's going oh, what's going on for Gemini in November 2021. Wow, okay. Let's get into it. Messages for Gemini. These cards feel like kind of stuck. So give me a second. They almost fell. Oh, wow. Okay. So the cards that we have face up, we have the swan, the dragonfly. Oh, not dragon. Sorry. The dragon, the dragon, not the dragonfly, the dragon. Sheesh. Uh, the lizard and the butterfly. Um, I'm not going to take these. I'm not going to look at them. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, the cards, man, something's off with them. They're feeling a little slippery, but they're also feeling kind of stuck. And, well, card explosion. Whoa. The the lizard and the dragon, they almost, like, blend in. This is almost like a close-up of the lizard's eye. That is wild. I don't think I've had these two cards out together. This is spirit energy coming out. Wow. Okay, so this is really interesting. You guys are going through lots of change. And that's kind of what's been going on with um, Scorpio and with Cancer. I just did those two today. And yeah, right off the bat, like the, the energy that I'm picking up on so far, I am loving it. Because for a while, the readings kind of felt like they were just the same old messages. Maybe not for every sign, but just like collectively, it's kind of been the same old same old but i feel like it's that retrograde energy because man we were really in it for like months and months since like may june anyways now we have a lot of planets finally direct and there's just gonna be movement and action and just like i am ready for it and i'm sure you are too so let's talk about this we have the swan um this card came out in pisces november reading so if you have pisces somewhere in your chart you may want to listen to their reading Oh, their reading was awesome. So honestly, like, yeah, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, highly recommend you listen it because it was a really good one. Um, but yeah, so lots of creation energy for the month of November. It's time to get busy. It's time to go express yourself. It's time to have fun. It's time to let loose and get creative and just like get busy, you know? Um, if there are any unfinished projects, November is the month to get that shit done and complete it. And you'll be so proud of yourself. And, you know, your hard work is really going to pay off. The swan is also a very reflective energy. So you might be doing a lot of reflection of the lessons that you've learned the past six months as well. Today, we have the full moon in Aries. It's a super blood moon. And it's going to be a really great time to release a bunch of stuff that just doesn't serve you. If you haven't already, with all this reflection going on here, there's some things that you may need to release, some emotional things, even some physical things, doing a little bit of a deep cleanse, declutter, even just like journaling your thoughts and then taking that paper and burning it like i highly recommend that that's a really good way to just like get it out of your head if you're feeling a bit imbalanced you might be feeling a bit more agitated than usual you might be feeling more snippy um a bit more edgy so if that's the case it's really just you needing some time alone so if you've been feeling that way, if you've been feeling just kind of like annoyed and maybe for no reason, but people are just getting on your nerves, Gemini, just pull away for a day or a couple days. Just reconnect with yourself, get grounded, get into a creative project and spend some time by yourself. OK, I think that's all that you really are needing. If you're feeling that way, you just need time out. <laughs> that's all. OK, so just that's for someone out there who needs that message. Or again, in the month of November, if you have days like that where you're feeling that energy, just take a break. Remember that. OK, I'm sure you'll have have a day where you're just like oh my god just leave me alone it's just like yeah you're gonna need some time away for a moment <laughs> all right we have the dragon and the lizard oh the lizard is also a very creative energy so the swan and the lizard you guys need to create this month i think um i think inspiration is going to be heightened i think you're gonna have lots of creative ideas 
and things that you'd like to do a lot of um options i'm kind of feeling seven of cups so just i think you may have the tendency to start stop start stop start stop which might get a bit frustrating or annoying so i would just suggest like do a couple things at once not like a whole bunch of things like do a select couple and then work on that and then complete it before you start anything new otherwise you may have a lot of incomplete projects okay but yeah the lizard does talk about the need for some solo time as well so that's kind of like a reoccurring message so november don't be afraid to say no to plans don't be afraid to set boundaries don't be afraid to have some time alone to yourself because hey we all need it we all need some time alone to just be by ourselves and get creative or just have a break or just rest recharge and that nothing's wrong with that and you may really benefit from it so just saying <sighs> but yeah dragon and the butterfly air energy coming out we have water and fire forgot to mention that and spirit coming through so perhaps your your um oh, where's my words Like your perspective on someone could be changing or just like your viewpoint in general, the way you view the world and even how you view yourself is changing. It's like you could be going through these changes inside, like internally. And as you go through those changes inside, it also starts reflecting everything else externally in your relationships, in your career, in like everything that you take in, the music you listen to, the shows that you watch, the news, the everything, you, the way you might be going through certain changes might just be changing your complete viewpoint on life in general, which is massive. So I think you guys are going through a lot of changes internally, and that would make sense why you need some time alone, because you're just trying to process what the fuck's going on, you know? It can get a bit overwhelming at times, but it's important you surround yourself with those that support you, and those that believe in you, and those that just, like, you know, they anchor you when you may be feeling a bit confused, or a bit overwhelmed, or stressed out. It's also important you really take good care of yourself, and you allow yourself to rest when you need breaks, or you need to just, like, again, disconnect from the world, maybe pull away from a bit, pull away for a bit, disconnect from social media for a moment, like, you know, it's all good to do that, and you may really benefit from that in the month of November, okay? Sheesh, but yeah, I mean, I just want to, like, look into these cards and see what's going on here. We're gonna clarify um, these cards, see why they came out, and get more details to what's happening, but I'm just gonna have them kind of like this, like, this is more like the creation side and this is more about like you changing and going through these shifts and maybe you might even be seeing changes in your relationships you might even be seeing changes in your career like there could be a lot of moving pieces this month okay so let's get to it let's start clarifying let's see what's going on let's take a look into the swan for <sighs> i heard pisces i also heard aries but this is gemini <laughs> Give me a second. Oh my gosh. All right. Talking about the swan for Gemini. Summarize the dates for uh, November 2021. Talking about the swan for Gemini. Summarizing Venus in November. Talking about the swan for Pi not Pisces. Some of you, I swear, some of you got Pisces in your chart or like in one of your main placements. Talking about the swan for Gemini. Summarizing Venus for November 2021. Time Swan for Gemini, somewhere like Venus in November 2021. All right, let's get into it. Try the Swan. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra energy coming out, crystal clear perspective. You see things very clearly. Also, getting clear with yourself on what it is that you want. You're very determined. You're very serious, and um, you're getting shit done. Probably the swan for Gemini, summarizing Venus for November 2021. Ace of Pentacles did try to come out, but it didn't, so it was meant to, it will. If not, let it be. Nine of Cups. Ooh, sheesh, I love that energy. Probably the swan. We also got the Wheel of Fortune. Probably the swan. Oh, yeah king of cups reverse there's a bit of moodiness there's a bit of moodiness that i was picking up on and i was kind of sensing that for some of you or just like maybe not right now you might be like you're not talking to me that doesn't resonate but like 
November, you might just have some moody moments. And that's okay. Who doesn't? Who doesn't, right? You can't always be sunshine, rainbows, and happiness 24-7, 365 days a year. Like, the fuck? You're gonna have days that are off. You're gonna have days where you're in a bad mood. You're gonna have days where you're angry or pissed off for no fucking reason. Or maybe you do have a reason. But, like, <laughs> to just kind of, like, ride out the waves, y'all. It's unrealistic to have standards like, I gotta be happy and smiling every fucking day. Like, no. Embrace all of your emotions. You don't have to be rude or disrespectful, but yeah, you're gonna have moments where you're gonna feel bitchy. <laughs> and that's all good, right? It's just about knowing how to handle your feelings. Tell me at the swan. All right, and we got the Knight of Pentacles backside. So yeah, taking some breaks. We got the Fool, we got the Seven of Wands, and we also have the Two of Cups. Okay, all right, judgment at the bottom. So maybe there's something about a relationship that you could be stepping into or a new commit connection new commitment friendship romance for some but it's like if you were i do feel like there's a little bit of defensiveness or you're a little bit on guard like you want to take that risk you want to take the jump but you're also kind of on alert like ooh, oh am i really like do i really want to give this a chance like there if you're opening up to someone or getting to know someone there might be this hesitation or defensiveness due to things that have happened in your past judgment right like whatever happened in the past underneath judgment we had the five of wands didn't go so well <laughs> last time you opened up or shared your heart they screwed you over or something just be mindful of past experiences and projecting that onto new experiences just saying okay so the cards that came up for this one we got that queen of swords so yeah you're i think you're very serious this month I think you're very stern, very serious. People might try to like joke with you and you might take it too literal or you might be just like, that's not funny. Like it just feels very serious. Like um, there's a bit of sharpness and that's why I'm like, okay, y'all might need some time alone, right? We do have a bit of that king of cups backside, a little bit of this moodiness, a little bit of mood swings. Yeah, that's the thing. Mood swings. Some of you are experiencing mood swings or just kind of feeling a little bit you know some days you're high other days you're low just kind of finding that ebb and flow um we do have this dolphin energy out here where you're just needing to be more compassionate and patient with yourself and even others right because at times you might be like why aren't you getting what i'm saying i'm impatient Ugh, like you know um just practice compassion and patience with others and that's just something to keep in mind now we do have that nine of cups so that came out after the queen of swords like you're very determined to get to a place of achievement and succeed in whatever it is that you're trying to get towards whether this is regarding yourself your career a relationship anything that you set your mind to anything that you're trying to work towards you're very determined and you're very focused and like nothing can get in the way of you gemini nothing can stop you and i think you're very proud of yourself already you've come a long way you really have um you might even be like receiving rewards for all of your efforts this month especially if things have been again and i've been saying this for a lot of signs things have been feeling a bit stagnant that's going to start to change this month and um so you're going to start to see the res the results of your hard work i need to slow down my speaking otherwise i'm gonna get tongue-tied okay but we do have that wheel of fortune coming out which talks about movement shifts change letting letting the wheel turn turning in your favor okay <sighs> but it's slow <laughs> that's the one thing about this wheel of fortune because after that we had the knight of pentacles so it's like a slow but painfully it's like a painfully slow turn of the wheel <laughs> but it's happening at least it's happening you can't complain about that at least the wheel is turning in your favor it's just happening slowly and you might be getting a bit impatient right but you already have so much to be grateful for you're already so blessed and it's also really important that you take the time out to count your blessings right look at around look around you for what you're grateful for right practice gratitude and also have expectant gratitude expect that you will receive nothing but the best expect that your manifestations they are coming in it's just happening a little bit slower but that just means it's going to be worth the wait so just saying <laughs> it's different when things come in much quicker you don't have that same appreciation right kind of just like ooh, and then sometimes it, it starts quick and it's just as quick so just keep that in mind let's take a look into the lizard for Gemini, summarizing Venus. Tell me about the lizard for Gemini in November 2021. Tell me about the lizard for Gemini, summarizing Venus in November 2021. 
tell me about the lizard for Gemini, Summer, Rise, and Venus in November 2021. Oh, Two of Swords. So you may have some sort of choice or decision to make, and you're not really sure. This may be a head over heart choice. Um, let's see what else needs to come out. Tell me about the lizard for Gemini, Summer, Rise, and Venus in November 2021. We also have the Page of Pentacles backside. So I feel like you're trying to consider all of your options before you decide, before you make any commitments or any like long-term decisions. I wouldn't be surprised if you are really just trying to consider all the possibilities and like think about what that decision, how that would affect you in the future. Like looking at all possibilities, trying to flip over every rock. But that also can lead to overthinking. We do have the Nine of Swords on the top of the deck, right? Really in your head, getting overwhelmed and kind of stressed out because there's so many different ways this could go. You could go left, you could go right, you could go straight, you could go backwards, and you're just like, oh my god, I don't know what to do, right? So it could get a bit overwhelming. Oh, tell me about the lizard. For Gemini, summarizing Venus in November, we also have the Queen of Cups. Get in tune with your intuition. Ace of Pentacles, um, we don't take reversals in this deck. It's either front or back. See, but this is what I was saying. You got all, you guys, this is literally what I was saying. It's like you can go left, you can go right, you can go one way and then decide to go backwards and go, like, that's literally what I was saying. It's like you got all these different options, all these different paths you could take, but that's the positive thing. It's like you're on this road, you got a map, and if you don't like the, the road that you're on currently, you have the choice. You can always go backwards. You can always choose a different route. You can always go down a different direction. You can always just turn around and try something else, right? At least that's what it feels like with whatever this is that you're trying to decide on. It's like you can always backtrack is what it feels like. So try not to get too wrapped up in like the possibilities of what if this and what if that and what if this. Like really just trust your gut on what you feel called to do the most. Like what is your soul calling you to do? You're not sure? Okay, then just sit on it. Think about it. Contemplate. Take as long as you need. But really pay attention to the gut feeling. When you think about, yes, I'm going to do this thing. What, what does that feel like in your gut? Does it feel good? Does it make you feel excited? Does it make you feel worried? Okay, what about, no, I'm not going to do that. Does, do you feel more confident in that? Like, really feel it out. Okay? Really consider. Pay attention to the signs. Read the fine print. Okay? Tell me about the lizard two of cups so for some this is literally about a relationship for some this is like you're not really sure if you should give this a chance maybe you're like but what if there's someone else out there that's better <laughs> right maybe you're not really wanting to settle or something like that um or maybe it's like you have the potential for a new relationship but there's also someone on your mind from your past or someone else that's kind of in the back of your mind like oh but what about that person right so that, that could also so we got two twos you guys Two twos. Maybe you got multiple decisions, or maybe this is about a relationship that you're trying to decide on what to do. At the bottom, we have the Knight of Cups backside, the Four of Swords, and the Two. Oh, just kidding. Well, I meant to say the Fool. I say Two of Wands, and the Two of Wands is right there. So two, two, two. Decision, decision, decision. Get balanced. Get grounded, and get certain. Okay. Once you get certain, then you'll be taking that leap off the cliff. But it's important you take the time to rest, recharge, get in tune with that intuition of yours, your higher self, calm the mind, practice mindfulness, get in the present moment, okay? But yeah, we have this Knight of Cups backside. Hmm. Yeah, for some, it's like if you have a new relationship coming in, you're, you're second guessing it because maybe some of you are hoping that another person will come back in or like someone maybe you aren't currently with. Maybe you're at separation, maybe you had a follow, maybe someone left you behind or walked away or whatever, maybe you walked away, but maybe still in the back of your mind, you're like, but what about that one person, right? What about that person? If I move on, what if they come back? Like, that's just, again, not going to apply for everybody, but that's just kind of like a message I'm feeling from that, right? And not knowing, like, what do I do here? What do I choose? If I say yes to this person or this new relationship, well, then I got to make peace with my past and that I, I can't go back to this individual because that would be unfair to this person. Like, I don't know. That's just a, that's a, a, just a side story that I'm picking up on, okay? 
<sighs> choice is up to you, but I can understand why I might be feeling a bit overwhelming or a little bit stressful, a little bit unsure. Like, you're really just trying to make the best possible choice. And you're like, what do I do? It's like, you're going to have to figure that one out. <laughs> Tell me about the dragon for Gemini, summarizing Venus for November 2021. Tell me about the dragon for Gemini, summarizing Venus in November 2021. Tell me about the dragon for Gemini, summarizing Venus in November 2021. Thank you. Let's get into this. Tell me the dragon for Gemini. Ten of Wands, Five of Wands, sheesh, yeah. There's definitely a lot of heaviness, a lot that you're carrying right now. There's this internal conflict of going back and forth. So I think it's relating to that choice, that decision, or the paths. I can go left, I can go straight, I can go right. Oh, what do I do? You know? Whew, feels like one moment. I'm getting um the card in my fairy deck, Indy. It's a, a card of choice. You have choices to make. You're not really sure what to do. One moment you think this way, next moment your mind changes. Like, your mind might be changing a lot, and it changes as you get more information or as you feel it out. So, I would, it feels like you're kind of going back and forth on a choice here. And you're not really sure, like, what to do. And it's weighing heavily on you or on your mind. That's for someone out there. How the dragon for Gemini, Summer Rising Venus in November 2021. <laughs> literally the two of wands this decision is on your mind and you don't know what to do and you keep going back and forth you're like okay i'm gonna do it no i'm not oh i'm gonna do it no i'm not maybe i should do this nah maybe i'll do this oh my i'm like oh my god <laughs> i can understand how this could be weighing really heavily on you for me personally when i have a choice i normally like yes or no i'm never really a maybe person and when i catch myself in those situations which happen rarely but when i do oh my god it drives me fucking crazy like maybe oh i hate that i just hate that this feels like it's like eating away at you driving you crazy you don't know what to do <laughs> oh gosh okay try the dragon for gemini summarizing venus whoa ten of pentacles fell right on my floor okay Maybe this has to do with your family. Maybe this has to do with moving. We got two tens on here. And uh, what was I going to say? This choice, I want to say, has an influence on, like, your life. Like, it actually has a pretty big influence on where you're headed, right? The path that you're on, the direction you're headed down. If you go left, it's going to take you to one thing. If you go right, that's going to take you to a completely different story, right? And so that's, that would make sense why you're really in your head trying to make the best possible decision, because I feel like this has an influence on, like, the life that you live. Like, exactly, like, um, not exactly. Why did I say that? Exactly, like, wow, what am I giving myself confirmation I want to say? Especially, not exactly, especially if, like, it's about moving, right? Some of you are, like, trying to find the best neighborhood to live in when trying to um, find something that's up your alley, price range, right? And that's going to make a huge impact on your future, right? You choose a house that maybe is a bit worn down but it maybe it's in your price range but then turns out a year from now oh you're gonna have to do a bunch of renovations or maybe you're gonna have to repair this thing or you're gonna have to get a completely new thing that if you went and bought this other house or rented this place you wouldn't have that issue like there's a lot to consider and that it's gonna influence the future and so you know that's a that's a message for someone and that's just an example of moving and houses like that but the ten of pentacles does talk about real estate and shit like that so Whew. so yeah there's like this back and forth like again if we're talking about moving maybe you got children and you're like okay if i we move to this neighborhood there's this there's a school that my children can go to but is this school good that's gonna have an influence on their life but if i move here with this school what that what is that school like is that gonna be a good school for my children like again shit like that you're really like trying to weigh out the best possible outcome about the future because you know that this choice that you make right here right now can lead to many different other important things in life it just sheesh it feels uh a lot it feels a lot the bottom of the deck we have temperance so it's important you guys get grounded get grounded and get clear and just take time to really calm the mind and get into the present moment okay this is saggy energy and then we have the six of swords so there's movement once you will make up your mind you will we have the world it is a backside though so I'm 
And we have the six of swords. So you, there is movement here. But it all just like, you gotta just get calm and grounded. Sheesh. Okay, let me look into the, the butterfly. We're kind of running on a running out of time. I don't know. Maybe not. We're fine. It's okay. Tell me the butterfly for Gemini, summarizing Venus in November 2021. Tell me about the butterfly for Gemini, summarizing Venus in November 2021. Tell me about the butterfly for Gemini, Sun, Rising, and Venus in November 2021. Tell me about the butterfly. Seven of Cups. Seriously? <laughs> and it's the back or the front. So it's just like, I don't know what to do. I got all these options, all these possibilities. What's going to be best? Ah! But yeah, see, it's like whatever cup you choose will lead to major change and transformation just saying so i understand like why you feel so stressed and oh, in your head sorry the butterfly for gemini we got the page of wands i always see this as a choice it almost looks like like you can go left or right this also the phoenix burning right you notice that massive change stepping out of your comfort zone doing things differently letting go of the past sheesh i don't know why i keep saying that kind of the butterfly <laughs> for butter for butterfly tell me about the butterfly for butterfly for gemini <laughs> maybe that's your name maybe that's their name butterfly we got uh, the queen of pentacles kind of the butterfly for gemini nine of pentacles nice let's go one more for the butterfly are, yeah for the gemini for the butterfly i don't know what i'm saying y'all um hermit i was gonna say virgo i was like that no the hermit this is virgo energy though anyways <sighs> wow there feels like a lot of abundance both in these cards the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles like i feel like whatever you end up choosing there's no bad option. Oh, wait, what just happened? Wait a second, y'all. Did I just, hold on, I think, oh, I just bump into everything. I was moving my feet around and I think I may have unplugged my lights. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, my feet were getting too crazy down there under my table. <laughs> I was just like moving my feet around, just like stretching and shit. Whoops, okay. <laughs> Never again, okay. Anyways, these cards look very like abundant and fruitful. And I just want to say, like, although it's overwhelming and you want to make the best possible decision, I don't really think that you have a bad outcome. It doesn't matter what cup you choose. I think it's going to lead to a lot of happiness and fulfillment and confidence and security. And try not to, to worry so much. Trust in your ability to make the best possible decision. Some of you are really doubting your own decision-making skills. You need to trust yourself, Gemini. You got a good head on your shoulders. Don't discredit yourself. This is for someone out here that needs that message. I'm not saying everybody is, but um, whatever you end up choosing, it's going to lead to a path of abundance, of security, of confidence, of having whatever you need, always having enough, never lacking. I also feel like there's a protective energy around you. We have these two birds in these cards. Like I just feel like there is always like divine eyes watching over you, protecting you okay and we have this little bunny here bunnies i pr bunnies rabbits whatever hairs pretty sure they're good luck and then we have the hermit's backside so just kind of like set it oh there's another bird <laughs> there's another bird just like set yourself free trust your intuition take time of course to contemplate and consider which path you feel most called to go towards but then be certain and trust that you made the right choice and it's gonna work out so yeah it's just you guys are you guys got really i mean shit we had how many twos in this reading did we have all the twos or like three i know we had at least three twos sheesh you guys okay i'm gonna grab a fairy message but to trust in your ability you're gonna make the best choice for you Take your time, weigh out your options, even make a pros and cons list if you gotta, but really pay attention to what you feel called to do. Do your research, cross the T's, dot the I's, 
But know that what you end up choosing is going to be best for you. Try not to overthink it too much. It's almost like when you're um, writing an exam and you you select, it's multiple choice, right? You select an answer and then you're like, oh, wait, maybe not. And you doubt, you, you doubt that first instinct. You doubt the first one you've chosen. So you erase it and you fill in the other. And then you go to get your exam back. Turns out the first one that you chose would have been the correct answer if you just kept it the same. You didn't change it last minute. Just so trust your first instinct is what I want to say. Trust that gut instinct. All right. So let me grab a fairy message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November 2021. Any fairy messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November 2021? Any fairy messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in November 2021? Any fairy messages for Gemini? Regarding this reading from November 2021. All right. Any fairy messages? Oh, wow. The singer of transfiguration, number 11. This talks about transformation. This talks about massive change and passing to the next level. You guys, this is amazing. This is really powerful energy. Let me grab one more because I just want to see if there's anything else. But yeah, very transformative month for you. This is just like a test for you to trust your intuition. Really trust it. Believe in yourself. Believe you'll make the best choice. I gotta just keep saying it. The more you use your intuition, the stronger it'll become. Oh, what do we have here? Unity, number one. Wow. I love that. Wow, we got two singer cards out here. Unity is, talks about the connection to all, to everybody, to everything to the whole universe and recognizing like there is no such thing as a wrong choice or a wrong decision oh wow one 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 you guys the synchronicities i'm dead the synchronicities in this reading that is just like magnificent you know <laughs> feels just like whoa like so like powerful and protected like divinely orchestrated i love that um let me see so, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm trying to grab the book. I like knocked the tripod over. So the so you may have mystical experiences where you may have had true union with other beings or with unity, the one who is all. Such experiences change your life. So you may have some sort of life-changing experience or something that shifts your life in the month of November. Seems very important and it's important that you surrender. Um Unity is the energy of the cosmos, still unmanifest, still without form. Here we see the dark and light, masculine and feminine, active and passive. This is the source from which we draw our strength, our very being. When this card comes up in a reading, it asks us to remember the mystical concept that we're all one, unified in a holistic universe. It reminds us to look at the needs and goals we have in common with others, to seek cooperation and community action rather than attempting to do everything on our own. To achieve our goals, we need the active cooperation of others, and to get to that cooperation, we must be helpful to them and willing to work with their ideas as well as our own. It suggests that we think of the things in equal partnership rather than lines of hierarchy authority. Unity also tells us that we have much to gain by remembering our own wholeness. Resolution of inner conflict is often necessary before we move ahead. It's important at this time that we work towards cooperation and reconciliation within and without. Seek the highest good of all involved and not merely your idea of the highest good. Ask for the divine energy of unity to permeate and guide you. So if you're feeling really lost and confused and unsure what to do, simply ask for help. Ask for guidance and you will receive. But until you ask, nothing's going to intervene, right? Because you got your free will. So one, 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 really powerful energy. I'm shook. <laughs> wow, you guys. So, feels like a very mystical, powerful month. Crazy things happening, but unfolding in mysterious ways. But it's positive. It's really good. So, Gemini, 
that's what I got for you guys for this reading. If you guys found this helpful or insightful, please let me know. Oh, wow, I really did bump this <laughs> when I was getting the book. I really did. I was <laughs> just like, look over my screen. I was like, wait, something looks off. If you guys found this helpful or insightful, please let me know in the comments below. If you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram at Jade Stone Tarot, and I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.